it's been a while, but where have you been and why have you not been in the vlogs as much? But I'm gonna have to be honest, like y'all have definitely noticed that I haven't been on the camera. That's just because how tall are you? How short am I? I am, when will you and your bestie April see each other again? How do you feel about lip fillers? My biggest insecurity, I would say, you know what? It, how many years have you been married and together? And we're very transparent, like it was rough. <laughs> Are y'all having any more babies? Why am I? I feel like I'm getting a little emotional. Um, do you and your husband ever have disagreements? What? <laughs> do we? Hey everyone, welcome to D. Levine. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell. That way YouTube will notify you every single time we put out a new video. I'm actually surprised that I still memorize that little spill because it's been a while since I posted a video for you guys and filmed one for you guys. Um, but I thought, why not do a Q&A? I asked you guys on Instagram to drop your questions below so that I can answer them in a YouTube video. So here I am. I will try to get through as many as I possibly can until I get tired because it's kind of late. Um, so yeah. Let's see, I'm pulling them up right now. Um, okay. First question, and I actually see this quite a bit. A lot of you guys have asked, um, where have you been and why have you not been in the vlogs as much and not filming as much? So, um, you guys, to be very honest with y'all, I have been going through <gasps> a lot <laughs> like so much um and that is why i literally just needed a break from the camera um i don't know y'all know we've been doing this for so many years and it can be very very draining um but aside from that aspect i just i really have been going through a lot mentally emotionally physically and i really just needed to take a step back regroup, refocus, try to get myself together. And yeah, that's what I did. I felt like I just needed to take some time off and thank God I'm able to do so. Um, I mean, I didn't fully take off, but I mean, that's why I just haven't been on the camera as much and like filming as much, but you know, I'm still pretty active on Instagram and um, here and there y'all see me in the videos, but y'all have definitely noticed that I haven't been on the camera nearly as much as I used to. And that's just because, I don't know, when I'm going through something, I tend to kind of just isolate myself and deal with things just on my own. I know other people like to deal with things in other ways. Like some people actually feel better when they're more vocal about their issues and what they're going through, which is great. But for me that like, I don't know, that just hasn't worked for me. And I just prefer to kind of just be to myself and yeah, so that's where i've been um that's why i haven't been filming as much but you guys will be seeing more of me i promise i just really needed the time to kind of just like figure things out and yeah next question that a lot of you guys keep asking are y'all having any more babies you know what um jerry and i have actually briefly talked about this topic um but why am I? I feel like I'm getting a little emotional. Um, short answer for a very, uh, I don't know. No, I don't think we are having any more babies. We're done. Um, yeah, I personally honestly wanted another one, but yeah, the kids, I don't know. Jerry's nine, Jordan's eight, and yeah, I feel like it's just the age gap. It's just so big that I think we're done. So yeah, no more babies for me. Next question. I really admire you and your life. Any tips on how you got to where you are? Uh, first of all, thank you so much. I don't know, like I feel like my life, honestly, Maybe I look a little cooler than I really am on social media, but y'all like, <laughs> I have like three friends and I stay to myself. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm always in the house or if I'm not in the house, I'm doing something for 
the kids uh, activities and things like that but other than that y'all like I'm not that cool but thank you though um and any tips on how I got to where I am I mean as far as maybe like work related uh just you know work hard it's like the basic cliche things but they're so true you know like just keep working hard don't give up be patient um this like I said, we've been doing social media for so many years now. Jerry's been doing it for over 15. I've been doing it for almost 10. So it's taken some time and yeah, you just gotta be patient. You gotta keep going and you'll, you know, ultimately, honestly, I would say this, uh, cause I get this question a lot, like as far as like social media related, like, oh, what did you do? Like any tips? You really have to love like what you're doing and really just being yourself. Like don't make content that you want to make um, and not what's always trendy and going viral and stuff. I mean, like it's cool to mix some of that stuff in. Of course, you know, it's cool to jump on trends, but like don't make that the core of what you're known for. Um, really like put out videos that you love to put out because it'll show in your videos. And so, yeah, I guess, if you were looking for like a work tip, that's what I'd say. But as far as like a life, like admiring my life, thank you. But I'm really not that like interesting. I don't feel like I am, but yeah, thank you. What helped you get through rough times early on in your relationship? That's a really good question. And to be very honest, um, early on like especially for like long-term viewers y'all know like early on and we're very transparent like it was rough <laughs> it was rough but i really feel like you know uh i wanted you know we had just had our son and i we both really wanted our family and we were just like focused on doing what we had to do putting in the work and just getting through it i don't know it took a lot a lot of patience, a lot of communication, a lot of arguments. <laughs> um, it wasn't easy, but I feel like just our core values have always been the same. We have a strong love for our kids and family. And so I feel like that it definitely helped that we had something that um, so special and that bonded us, you know, and from there, I don't know. And I, also I think it's a lot of credit to Jerry too, because I will say that even though it was really rough in the beginning, I have never really doubted like his love. Like he really, he really loves me. Like he's always really gone out his way for me and like prioritized me and put me first. Um, and he, yeah, he's always been like really great. He's like a great, overall, he's just a great man. So um, I, I don't know, like I think just like feeling, always feeling at the end of the day, like he had my back and he really loved me. Um, that really helped, you know, me feel safe and like want to keep working on our relationship and on our family together. So, will you post any luxury videos anymore or handbag videos? <sighs> you guys, I love I love luxury. I love nice things. Um, but honestly, I don't know. Like, I will. I totally will. But I'm going to have to be honest. Like, the reason why I kind of go back and forth with that and just, like, kind of took a break from that as well is it's just weird. Like, I am so uncomfortable filming about it. Like I love it and I liked enjoying my things like in real life, but to film it and like talk about the items and things like that, for some reason, it's always been kind of uncomfortable for me. And I know like, I don't know, I think it's a thing because I've talked to other like past luxury YouTubers who have also stopped and it's like a level of uncomfortability and then also like i don't know i don't want to come off as like kind of braggy because at the end of the day it's just things like i don't really like hold so much value in these things at all like it's just something that i enjoy and yeah like i, I like talking about it with like my my two friends but like other than that 
I don't know, it's always been uncomfortable, but I'll go back to it because at the end of the day, it's like, it's my job and y'all love those types of videos and those videos do really well for me. And yeah, so I don't know, I just go back and forth, but I will be posting more. I just won't be doing like as much, but I will be posting more. Leave me comments down below. What do you guys want to see? Like I know handbag, but like be hand, like specifically, what about which handbags? Like, let me know down below. Favorite designer handbag. Um, I would say, I don't know. It's between the Hermes, Birkin or Kelly. I kind of like the Kelly more, even though I have more Birkins, but yeah. Um, I also like Chanel, but I do feel like their prices are getting a little outrageous. I feel like they're trying to be or compete or be up there with Hermes. And to me, there's just no comparison between the two. There's definitely levels. Um, I do love both brands, but Chanel is like, I feel like for the price point that they're reaching or that they're at right now, I'd rather just save and buy in another Hermes bag or something. But um, yeah, I would say Hermes Birkin or Kelly. How do you feel about lip fillers? Oh my goodness, so it's so funny you asked because I just recently actually asked. I was like, man, what are y'all's thoughts? Like, should I get it? I am totally like open. Like, I don't really care. Um, I've actually thought about getting lip fillers. I'm still thinking about it. I just go back and forth because one, I don't like needles and like I hear it hurts. Um, and so I'm like scared of the pain, but I'm also scared of like the results. Like it's just so up and down. Like they either look really good or they look really bad. And I've seen far more bad lip jobs than like really good natural looking ones. Um, but yeah, I have really small lips. And so I have thought about getting them, but I've never pulled the trigger. So I don't know. And then I also think about like the health benefits, like what is all in the filler? Like I'm sure it's like toxins and like poison. Um, I don't know. So that's what's kind of kept me away from trying it. And then also I'm only 31 and I kind of just don't want to mess with my face. I feel like I have a pretty like decent face, like baby face. So I I don't know, I'm just like holding on to that. Like, okay, D, like be thankful, don't mess with your face. Um, and if I do decide to, I feel like maybe it'll be later on in life um, when I'm actually a little bit more older. Cause I feel like I'm still young and I, I still look good. So um, yeah. But I don't know. I think lip fillers, yeah, like do what makes you happy and what makes you feel most confident. Why not? Will you upload more try on hauls, queen? Uh, yes, sure. I mean, what try on hauls would you like to see? Would you like to see like bougie on a budget? Would you like to see like more designer clothing hauls or like regular clothing hauls like from Zara, or, like High Street? I don't know. Let me know down below, you guys. Next question. When will you and your bestie April see each other again? Oh my goodness. I just actually, I talked to her early today. We talked for like three hours, y'all. <laughs> it's been a while, but um, we may see each other this year. Maybe uh, we talked about uh, po possibly seeing each other. So yeah, we'll see what happens. How are you and Jerry, or if it's just you, or if it's only about you, how are you mentally? Um, well, I guess I kind of talked about this at the very beginning of the video. Mentally, I've just, I've been struggling. It's been definitely hills and valleys this last year, maybe more. Um, but I'm getting it together slowly but surely. Um, and yeah, you know what y'all, like I don't even share that to, for any sympathy or anything like that, but just to share it. Cause you know, I get comments like the, oh, I admire you and your life is so good. Like, oh, I love it. But like, I don't know, everyone goes through something and I don't ever want to come off as like someone who has like this perfect life. Like I've, I hope I, I don't come off that way. I, f I feel like we do our best um, to be pretty transparent with you guys. But um, yeah, mentally I've been struggling. Like I've really been struggling, um, but I have been proud of myself for like taking the steps and doing what I gotta do to get back right and to refocus. So yeah, I'll be good. If you guys were to move again, which state would you pick to live in? <laughs> Jerry and I probably have different answers for this, but not really. Um, I think if we were to move again, which honestly I feel like we will, um, it would be, um, yeah. Next question, Christian Dior or Louis V? Um, I'm gonna have to say Louis Vuitton. 
Um, Dior is awesome, but I do feel like it's just very like trendy right now and like hot. I mean, Dior always, of course they have like their classics, like the Lady Dior bag, um, but I feel like Louis Vuitton is even more classic, I guess. Like if I had to rank them, Louis, it would be Louis Vuitton over Dior, um, and then Chanel and then Hermes, so. Yeah. What makes your blood boil and what gives you peak happiness? Hmm. Um, I guess like from the top of my head, what makes my blood boil? I would say liars. Like I, I can't stand liars. I feel like a lot of people just lie for no reason. And it's just, yeah, that I can't stand liars. Um, Cause that goes also along the line of like just being disloyal and I'm a, like, I feel like I've, I'm like loyal to a fault. And so, yeah, I could see why that like is the first thing that pops up in my head. Cause I just, I can't stand liars. Like, I feel like, no, like why I just save everyone time and just be honest. I don't know. Um, and what gives you peak happiness? Uh, what comes to my mind? Honestly, experiences with my kids. I, I love doing stuff with them. Like I, yeah, I don't get tired of being around them. Like I love, I just love being around them. I love doing stuff with them. So that would, that definitely brings me so much happiness. Do you and your husband ever have disagreements? What? <laughs> Do we? Yes, we definitely have disagreements all the time. Um, we've had disagreements on camera like so many different times. So yeah, we definitely have disagreements. Um, I don't think, I think that's healthy. I think it's normal to have disagreements, especially when you've been with someone for so long. Um, yeah. How many years have you been married and together? So we've been married for almost six. We'll be, it'll be six years this year and we've been together for over 10 years, like a long time, 11, 10, 11 years. So yeah, basically <laughs> all my adult life because we got together, we met when I was 20, 21, right when I was 21, 20, yeah. How tall are you? How short am I? I am four nine, I know. Every time y'all see me in person or if I get stopped by one of you guys, y'all are always like, oh my goodness, I knew you were short, but I didn't know y'all were, you were this short, but yeah. I am very, very, very tiny. What is your biggest insecurity? Uh, what do you get insecure about? Yeah, I've got this question a few times. Um, my biggest insecurity, I would say, you know what? It would be like acne, the last, like the last year uh, or over a year now. Like, I don't know what it is because I've never had like an acne issue. But and I think I'm not sure if it's like from like when we had to like wear the mask because it would usually happen around me traveling or I don't know if it's like from the stress that I've been under. Um, but yeah, like I've just been like breaking out more and it has been getting to me like so bad. Like <laughs> it's been so frustrating, especially cause you're used to like having like just a clear face. And when you break out with like one pimple or something, like it's just to me, I feel like it's just so noticeable. And yeah, that's been something that I've been really insecure about lately. Um, let's see what else. And I'd say another thing would be my boobs. So a lot of y'all know I got an explant um, like what, two years ago? And that's actually like, it's still taking some adjusting. Like I've even thought about getting implants again, which may surprise a lot of you guys. But if I'm being honest, it crosses my mind still. I'm like, man, maybe I should just get um, a different type of implant instead of the ones that I did have. Um, but yeah, that's something that I don't know, I go back and forth with. Although I feel like my surgeon that did my explant did like the most amazing job. Like there's nothing wrong. I think it's just like, just I'm still adjusting um, because I did get implants when I was 19 and I had them in since 29. So literally they were with me for 10 years and the last two years it's just been an adjustment mentally um obviously physically like i've had to adjust like i'm still trying to figure out like wardrobe and like 
finding pieces that work with like the itty bitty titty committee. So yeah, that's been um, a struggle on and off. But honestly, there there's also some pros though. You know, like my lower body, my lower half, looks bigger and thicker with smaller boobs which i like and um it's obviously more comfortable so i don't know there's pros and cons to it but sometimes it does i'm like hmm, like i don't know it's still i'm just still trying to adjust to it so i feel like those two would be i guess like some insecurities that i have right now um but yeah what is your biggest regret um you know what I don't know like I don't I don't really like to regret anything I feel like everything good and bad you can learn from like take something out of it um I would say maybe a, a disappointment of mine is I have acted out of character when I'm angry, meaning like I'll like during an argument, I'll say things that I necessarily don't mean. And just, yeah, I, I would say that would be something that I feel like I should know how to control better, like to control your feelings and control your emotions when in like an argument with someone. So that's what I would say, I don't know. But like, again, I don't know if I like regret anything. Um, and I've gone through a lot of stuff, you guys. Like y'all have no idea, like a lot of things, but I don't know, I try to see the good in everything and see the bad things that have happened in my life and in life in general um, as just lessons. And I really try to focus on even the good that comes, I don't know. I just, I try to just look at everything as a lesson and try to find good in even bad situations. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess, I, I don't know if I answered your question, but I hope so. Do you ever wish you were younger again? And if so, what age? Again, no, like, I don't know. Uh, one, I feel like I'm still young. I'm 31, I'll be 32 this year. I feel like I'm young age-wise, um, and but I do feel, I've always felt like I was an old soul. So that's why I don't feel like I would want to feel young again. Like even in, y'all, it's so funny, like in high school, I used to hang out with my school principal like every morning. Like literally, I would just hang out with her. Like she could have, she could have definitely been like my grandma. Like, <laughs> like that's how old she was. But I just really enjoyed talking to her and like being around older people and also just i guess like having kids at a young age that ages you as well or it aged me i feel like i uh had to grow up a lot faster and i i had obviously a very different experience in my 20s than i guess most 20 year olds um or people in their 20s so yeah no i don't wish i was younger um because even when I was younger, I was still, like, I don't do, like, young stuff. I never really went out. Um, I didn't really have a lot of friends. Like, even now, I don't have a lot of friends. Um, it's just, I just prefer that way. I would always, like, just, I don't know. If there was, like, a time where, oh, I could hang out with my friends or I could, like, hang out with my mom, like, I would hang out with my mom. Like, I'm just very, I don't know, I'm very family-oriented and... I like being around much older people. Um, I've always been that way, so yeah. All right, let's see, one more question and then I'll end this. Um, 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 hmm. What are some things that Jerry has done that helps keep the spark alive after all these years? Um, He's done a lot, I don't know, you know, he is, I will say this, he's always been so amazing at putting me first and just really making sure 
that I feel loved and making it known that he loves me. And um, I would say, I guess like the most recent thing that he's done is he's been like cooking and cleaning a lot more, which is also like, it's a little weird because he like literally, if y'all know Jerry, like in all of our years together, he just has never really done that. So that's been, it's been a little uh, weird, but I do appreciate it. And yeah, it's just like things like that. I think he just always keeps me in mind and just always serving, wanting to serve me. And um, I feel like that helps definitely keep the spark alive, just feeling wanted and um, appreciated and things like that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here, y'all. I don't wanna like bore y'all. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this and you guys would like more Q and A's, um, then let me know. I'll be happy to do another one for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Probably a luxury one, woohoo! All right, bye guys.